Stephanie Beaumont coming to you from Cape Spear, Newfoundland. Well, thanks. And I mean, are you all with here? No. no. Let's pause for a moment and remember I'm in the back seat with Alan Hawke. Up. She knows that one. Is that real? Yes. Yes, to land this fish. Mr. Walter Gretzky. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm fine. I'm thrilled standing beside you. Hey, wow. <laughs> Take two. I'll just go ahead and pinch me. Go on now. Their craft has to win the 48 foot wooden schooners, the traditional kind. Stephanie Beaumont, welcome to CNBC, the show that celebrates all the people, places, and things that make the four Atlantic provinces so very special. From Nova Scotia to New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island to Newfoundland and Labrador, we take you to where the action is. And we are here tonight in Halifax for Atlantic Business Magazine's Top 50 CEO Awards. The World Trade and Convention Center is the spot for the 15th annual evening to honor the very best in East Coast business. Tonight, the room will fill with folks from every industry, family, friends, and co-workers all here to celebrate the achievements of 50 select CEOs, decisive, forward-thinking, and enthusiastic innovators who not only work to grow their companies, but who strive to enhance the communities of this region as well. It's a big night, and we've got it all covered, from setup to dress up, hand out to send off, starting with the marvelous master of ceremonies. I am always so excited when I get to see this Bella and like casual attire now but you are getting classed up for tonight, am I right Margaret? I am, I'm going to have the best uh, outfit that a $150 gift certificate from Morris can get you. Well, you, you look right snappy now and you know Thank we you. catch you, uh, you had your headphones on, what were you listening to? Tell me, because I have a picture of you now, I'm showing it. There he is. He looks almost Beatlesque walking across the street. I was actually listening to Paul McCartney. You were not. I was, yeah. I know you're a big fan. Yeah, I'm a bit of a Beatle nerd, but uh, yeah, I was listening to a little bit of Paul McCartney, yeah. Very nice. Okay, very good. So you're here in, in the city. We we enjoy your presence all winter long wow. for 22 minutes, mm -hmm. but a busy summer for you. What's going on? A uh, busy summer uh, doing, uh, just finished up the Halifax Comedy Festival, yes. and now doing working on a new uh, CTV sitcom called Satisfaction. Okay, that I, I just, get out! here yeah now, because he told me off camera and I didn't get to react but that's amazing oh it's fun yeah it, <laughs> it's, it's 13 episodes uh, writing it with my friend Tim McAuliffe who is a writer for he was a writer for the office they just wrapped up and, and Jimmy Fallon and uh, up all night on NBC now, how'd you meet him you Tim, and, uh, Tim started writing on 22 minutes and then we became really good buds and uh, then he exec produced the year two years ago before he went down to the States and then we wrote a special for the Muppets together uh, last summer yeah. And uh, so we were always looking for stuff to do together. And then um, he had pitched and CTV bought this series, Satisfaction, and we've been kind of working on ideas for it the last couple of years. And, and what is it now? Give us a synopsis. Give us the log line. It's sort of like uh, in the kind of like that mid-20s area of life where you're kind of uh, half responsible and half not as a single guy living with a couple in an apartment. And uh, yeah, so we started- Have you cast? It's all cast as we're shooting it right now. Can you want to drop some names? Or? Uh, Luke McFarlane from Brothers and Sisters is the guy who is in the couple. Leah Renee, who was on the Playboy Club on NBC, it was sort of like a Mad Men show and a bunch of other things. And then Ryan Belleville, a Canadian comedian who uh, has been yeah, at yeah. Halifax County Fest just for last and stuff like that. That's our three main cast. And then I uh, play a guy named Gary Breakfast, who's uh, this sad sack neighbor who lives in their building, kind of a uh, <laughs> bit older than them, and you know, he's been like, you know, maybe like twice divorced. Nobody knows what he does for a living. Uh, wears this kind of jacket with. <laughs> to uh, model it after. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it's a jacket with leather sleeves with revolving restaurant on it. He's like, he's one of those guys, Aww. kind of lives off Groupons. And. Uh, <laughs> Not uh, that there's anything wrong with that. We're no, not here to judge. No, uh, but and then uh, Nikki Payne is going to be doing some guest spots. Wow! And we have a bunch of guest stars. I don't think I'm allowed to say who. Well, Jerry O'Connell is going to be guest, guesting <gasps> up on an episode. What? And uh, a bunch of people like that. I can't really say nice. yet because so ink 13 is dry. episodes. I mean, that's yeah. the big time. That's, that's a that's season. Like it's a full season. So we're shooting yeah. that over the summer. Shoot. We've been writing it. We started right when. 22 minutes ended and now we're excited because you guys are back again with 22 minutes season awesome. 21 of 22 yeah i mean pretty exciting what yeah. will you do for 22 now i don't know if i did the math on that like 22 22 i don't know maybe that would be a good time to wrap it up who knows well, don't say I don't that know. Well, we're going be a into nice happy ball. it's a good trivia question how many seasons of 22 minutes were there 22 see 
and that'd right. be a good that tribute. would be a tri- like Alex Trebek. Yeah, just to be yeah, or well, the Canadian Jeopardy, whatever that is. It used to be Definition. You'd win the Definition was great. Craft and be like, like yeah. What would they give away now? Because they don't. Boop boop They give away Groupons for stuff. And you win a Groupon for a two-for-one craft dinner from the people at Craft. Craft. Uh, yeah, Definition was very sad. I'd love to bring back Definition, the new Definition. Wouldn't that be good? What would it be? Oh, my it gosh, be it would be great. Cheap to make is what it would you be. You should do that, Mark Okay, Rich. that's the next thing, the new Definition. Watch for it. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk about this. Atlantic Business Magazine, top 50. That's Three right. years in a row, you're like a ringer. They bring you back in every year. Yeah, the first year I did it, uh, Danny Williams was the, uh, the gay keynote speaker. And so they thought, well, we'd, they'd be a good pair. So they brought me in. We had a lot of fun. And then they asked me back last year, and they've asked me back again. It's a really great event. You know, Hubert Hutton, those guys at uh, Atlantic Business Magazine, they do they have a great magazine, and uh, they really, really care about this event and care about what they're uh, promoting and stuff. And right. they could really feel that whenever I uh, spoke to them. So I was, yeah, sure. God, I love it. Yeah, it's yeah. great to do it. And yeah. a good dinner. And it's a good free meal, right? Free meal. And I don't want to see that uh, $50 <laughs> Moore's gift certificate go to waste. So. <laughs> Here I am. Now, do they ever, do you ever, as, as a result of hosting this, do, do people go, we'd like you to be at our golf tournament, or we'd like you to be our spokesman, or does anything ever... Not spokesman. I don't think you I'd be, be a very think good... Think about it. No, I mean, let's, you let's face it. be the voice of Highliner Foods. No, well, yeah. Have you ever been to sea, Billy? <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't think, I don't, I don't think I'd be a good spokesman for fish stick, because let's face it, the, the, the cocaine scandal is going to burst any day now. There's going to be some kind of a horrible thing. They're going to say like, oh, Merck, Rich killed all them hobos it's like you know and that, that, that really the project is he's just... so funny and unbelievably talented we'll look forward to checking out satisfaction when it premieres on ctv monday june 24th and of course we'll look forward to another hilarious season of 22 minutes on cbc this fall mark's got another fall premiere on the books but this one's on the big screen grand seduction which was filmed in newfoundland and labrador last summer is rumored to be ready for the toronto international film festival this September. The remake, directed by Don McKellar, was shot primarily in beautiful Trinity Bay, and it also stars Taylor Kitsch, Brendan Gleeson, and Mr. Gordon Pinson. We've got lots more about the movie on our site. I just can't wait to see it, and I can't wait to see Mark get all spruced up for tonight's event. Speaking of which, you know, the World Trade Center Ballroom is going to get jazzed up for the evening, too. In just a few hours, hundreds of high-class guests will arrive for the ABM Top 50 and the place needs to look top-notch. You can't put on an event like this without a mastermind, ladies and gentlemen, from Zed Events, Leanne. <laughs> How are you? Oh, yeah, great, I know. great. And calm, cool, and collected. And let me just say, this is months in the planning, right? We just Absolutely. show up all, you know, we're here Absolutely. for party. But how long has this taken you? Well, we actually do this event every year. So technically, as of 11 o'clock tonight, when uh, the doors shut down, we start for 2014. Oh, great. Um, so yeah, there, there's Which has definitely its benefits because you know your client. Yes, yeah, we know our client very well. Uh, we know what they like to see, what they don't like to see, and uh, we work very well together to to bring it all together and do something different for them every year. Right. Which is, I think, why they like to work with us. Okay, well, let's just talk about it because the touches tonight are beautiful, and you went with a Hollywood ask kind of theme. Take we us did. through the elements. We did. So our client really wanted to celebrate this year. It marks their 15th anniversary of the awards and wanted it to be very glamorous. Uh, so to me, glamour just goes hand in hand with Hollywood. But rather than make it uh, a standard, you know, gold statuesque Hollywood night, we opted to, to do more of a retro Hollywood, an old Hollywood feel for them, kind of reminiscent of the times when uh, all the films were black black and white, right. uh, and uh, I always think of red lipstick when I think of old Hollywood. So uh, that's our hint of color tonight, our contrast that's for right. the evening. Yeah, Beautiful, lots of crystal, black that's and white, right. and that splash of red. That's right. Fantastic. Okay, and then let's just talk about Zed events, because, I mean, we see you here tonight, but yes. you are everywhere doing all kinds of things for many, many years. Take us just through a hint of what you've done in Halifax over the last little while. Well, we run about anywhere from 15 to 50 events a year, depending on what's happening in the city, what's being celebrated, uh, you know, who needs our services. And we're based in Halifax. We primarily do most of our business here. Uh, but we do uh, do 
events right across the country. Oh, wow. Uh, and mostly corporate? We have primarily worked with uh, corporate clients for the past uh, 10 years, and we've had several phone calls over the years asking us to do uh, more social occasions or private functions, weddings. And uh, so, yeah, we're, we're announcing two new uh, arms of our company. Uh, one is called 26 Events Great Consulting, and we'll be able to service uh, both corporate and personal clients who don't necessarily require our full service production services. Yeah, because tonight you're doing everything from staging to yes. table decor. Yeah. I mean, it's Soup the full nuts. game. Okay. Soup to nuts tonight. But there are some people out there who already have a good portion of their event planned, or maybe are just looking to add to something, or maybe they just need uh, labor associated with their event to help them with setup or execution. It could be stage management, floor direction, all of those things. So so we've started an a la carte company oh, where you can pick and choose from our menu of services uh, for us to come in and help you with any element of your event. Our third branch of the company is Distinctive Social Occasions, and uh, we're going to get our feet wet with uh, some brides and, and start getting into some wedding planning. So now your company is growing. Would that be a fair absolutely. assessment? Yes. Oh, which is great yeah. to hear about. Yeah, it is. It's really exciting. Yeah. Now, I know when you do this, it's minute to minute, it and is. so I appreciate the minutes that you've given us. And and did allowed... you put me in on your schedule? Yes, I, you were on my schedule for eight minutes. <laughs> Eight minutes! <laughs> That's if I rambled. We got it in under the wire. Right on. Right, right on. on. Thank you, Leah. You're very welcome. I must say they really had the place transformed in true Hollywood glamour. I wanted to get glammed up myself, so I took a wee trip to the Turbine Boutique at Bishop's Landing. The shop is full of incredibly irresistible pieces designed by the award-winning and world-renowned Lisa Drader Murphy. Always with a keen eye for the exquisite, Lisa discovered these mud bangles while pursuing charitable projects in Hyderabad, India. Now, each piece is handcrafted by village artisans by packing shallow metal castings with clay and then delicately hand placing each crystal before drying them in a fire kiln. They're unbelievably beautiful and I found the perfect pair to go with my dress for tonight. Made even more perfect knowing that a portion of the sales was going to fund the Turbine India Project. That's a charity Lisa established to provide college bursaries to women who couldn't afford to go to the college otherwise. 38 women have already benefited from the project. That's so wonderful. Now we've got to take a break, but when we return, we'll hit the red carpet, chat with some winners, and dole out some free stuff too. So don't go anywhere. CNBC Scene will be right back. Welcome back to CNBC. What would this ABM Top 50 Hollywood themed gala be without the red carpet arrivals? How lovely to catch up with so many of tonight's guests. Oh my goodness! Are you pregnant? I love that we get scoop on the red carpet. The Moors have arrived. Oh, Congratulations! Nice to see you. How are you doing? Great, great. How are you? I, I'm doing, I guess, good, but look at the two of you. Married like a year? Not quite. Two, almost three years. Almost three years. <laughs> Time flies. Well, you look yeah. fantastic. Thanks, you look great. And uh, your father yes. won again. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah. So many industries. What do you think? Oh, he's certainly a huge mentor uh, for myself and uh, the whole industry. So yeah. It's been, uh, and now, what's the biggest lesson he's taught you? Just in a nutshell. Uh, you gotta, you gotta work for what you're in. So, I don't know. Certainly. That would be it. That's good. Okay, an ocean stone. How great is that going? Yeah, it's going really well. Unbelievable. Yeah. And a huge season this summer? Yeah, 26 weddings this summer. 26 weddings. Yeah. Ocean View, you got to check it out. We'll let you enjoy the evening. You look Thanks. absolutely Thank gorgeous. Nice When's the baby you. due? August. August 13th. Oh my gosh, you're yeah. just a bean. I know. I know. Get in there and eat some more durs. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Thanks, Lizzie. My Cashy, congratulations. This is a big night. It's your first time being in the top 50 CEOs, but I have a feeling it's not the last. Tell me a little bit about how you grew this egg into the like empire that has become. The empire. Well, <laughs> it's a great region to have a business in. You know, it does create um, a env good environment for people to do business here, you know, but you have to take advantage of the opportunities. You have to work really hard. Yes. And I think sometimes you have to work a little harder here because, you know, uh, there's Not a little a bit less. Well, yeah, there's right. a little bit less. So. Yeah. Uh, but if you do that, if you work really hard, um, you, you know, and you get people. this, yeah, Isn't that's that fair. A, yeah, no, we have really great people, and and I think when we when I first started, you know, that was my goal was to hire people that were better than me, people that you know that complemented my talents or you know uh, surpassed them, 
and that's what we we're able to do. So over the last nine years, we've grown egg, and now we have 20 people. And it's, you know, it's a fun company and, and a great group of people to work with. Very cool. The biggest lesson he's ever taught you. Dad always says that um, any job, no matter how humble, if nobly done, is uh, is a job worth doing, and that's what he always tells me. So that's I remember that. Lesson. Think of all the amazing things a brain can do, or the legs of a marathon runner, or the fingers on a piano player, and and remember how much um, a human can achieve, and nothing is ever impossible. Fantastic. How about you? I'll go along. They're tough to beat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, Dad always said never to use the word impossible and to always keep striving to do whatever you dream and make your dreams come true. <laughs> Any brothers or just the three girls? Two brothers. brothers. Five girls, two boys. <laughs> My gosh, what a successful family and your gorgeous sweet. Ladies, have a wonderful evening. Thanks for stopping. This fella is no stranger to the top 50 CEO. What is it, like your third time? Third time, yeah. yeah so You're a great. ringer. No, not really. You I just, are. You surround You're yourself a... with great people and then look what happens. Well, okay, now, and let's talk about it because many companies and, the, and your um, premier executive suites was an industry you left behind and yes. that CEO you groomed and they yeah, won. Well, yeah, no, no, they, they did. They've done Suzanne, very well. Suzanne, right? The Suzanne, the, I hired Suzanne 30 years ago. Isn't that amazing? She's unbelievable. Now, that's a testament and we had a, a great chance to chat with your son and your daughter-in-law and he oh, said you. yes on the red carpet and they look fantastic and congratulations a grandfather. I know, I know. It's what a big adjustment. World? I love it. <laughs> that's exciting. Okay, now, legit one lesson that you could tell anybody out yes. there because you've got written two fantastic books on how to be successful in business but if you could just say one thing Tim it's all Moore. about the quality character and talent of the people that's what it's all about you hire great people and they, they make you look good they certainly make me look good so I'm, I'm blessed to have surround myself with great people there you go so and, well you look fantastic tonight thank you can I ask so you who you're, you're wearing uh, my boss suit oh I think it's boss anyway look at that. <laughs> just trying to keep up to you oh you look great <laughs> She focuses on the we instead of the her. And she, is, that, is that how it is in the house too? <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. And you have beautiful daughters. No, thank you so much. I'm missing one. And they speak so highly of you, sir. What? They speak so highly of you. I, I, You've I, taught them really well. The only thing I didn't teach them was not to lie. <laughs> That is not true. They're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, congratulations. I know you're a judge this year. I was. How hard a process is that? It, it wasn't hard. It was interesting <laughs> and it was uh, long. Okay. <laughs> It was it was a fascinating. I I really enjoyed it. I got. Did you make say. any new friends? Like just go. Oh my gosh, that guy. We should go golfing or no, something like I, that. No, but I I just learned so much about all the candidates. They're amazing people. Yeah, we have a lot of talent here on Canada's East Coast. Can I get an amen, sir? Can you get a what? An amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen, hallelujah, and have mercy. Mr. Critch sure looks fine. He's donned his best suit, which means it's time to honor those top 50 CEOs. Those awards will be presented, but first, we'd like to present you with some TV free stuff. This prize comes courtesy of Lost Cod Clothing, a cool, new, unique clothing brand focused on celebrating Nova Scotia's old history. Each vintage logo tells of our rich heritage from across the province, and Lost Cod prints each piece on demand. From onesies to blankets, hoodies to tees, each quality garment comes with the story behind the design. You'll find Lost Cod at Queen's Landing on the Halifax waterfront, or you can shop with them online at www.theuncommongroup.com. You'll want to have all of those cool things, so to help you out, we've got a $100 gift certificate to get you going. All you need to do is tell me how many top CEOs were honored tonight. That might be our easiest question ever. <laughs> Once you've got the answer, Head to the website, it's www.cmbc.com, click on the TV free stuff box and submit your answer. We'll be right back. Welcome back to CNBC. Congratulations. What a wonderful evening it's been. Being here to salute the very best in East Coast business has been delightful indeed.
Be sure to read the bios of all this year's winners, as well as this year's Hall of Fame inductees on the Atlantic Business Magazine website. That's www.atlanticbusinessmagazine.ca. And as if being named one of the ABM's top 50 wasn't cool enough, they actually declare a winner from among that distinguished group. And this year, for the first time ever, it was a woman. Well, I don't know whether to salute or hug her, ladies and gentlemen, the top CEO of the year, Kathy Bennett, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, it's quite the honor. Oh my gosh, now let's just start. At CNBC, we celebrate the four Atlantic provinces, all the special people, places, and things. St. John's girl, is that right? Absolutely, I actually, born, actually born in Corner Brook on the oh, West Coast, oh, nice. but spent most of my life in St. John's on the East Coast. Okay, very good. Now let's just talk about it, because there is an upbringing that there's a, 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 a fabric of Newfoundland and Labrador. How much of that is attributed to your success? Um, I think there's a huge part of it. I mean, we, um, I think there's a very strong resilience in our community um, or, you know, a, a community that's used to working really hard over a long period of time. Right. And, uh, you know, I'm, I think we're also used to a lot of challenges. And I think when I look at the growth of our own business and, our, and the diversity of our business, it certainly come from, you know, come from hard work and taking risks that other people wouldn't necessarily take. Yes. So. Well, I mean, and you had such a wonderful acceptance speech. Um, you talk about taking risks, and that is such a huge part of being an entrepreneur. Um, and I got to tell you, we talked to your family on the red carpet. Um, <laughs> what a charming group of gentlemen you've well, thank assembled. You. Thank you. They're very, uh, very big fans and very good listeners. <laughs> okay. Well, how do you juggle it? Because I'm a, I'm a mom. I don't. I mean, I'm trying my best, but you clearly have reached a pinnacle, and I'm wondering well, how it's... I, you know, it's, I think it comes down to a really good organization. My husband um, certainly takes care of a lot of things on the home front, and I know I'm blessed. I know that's not the situation in a lot of women's homes, but it, it, it is in ours. And, you know, we actually have family meetings. We plan. Do we do. We have family meetings. We have an agenda. We talk about things, and we plan. And then when we do get you know family time uh, on vacations, we really put a lot of effort into making sure that it's quality time, um, and including the boys and things like this is an important part. I I remember when I raised the money for Ronald McDonald House in Newfoundland and Labrador, I brought the boys over and I told them, you know, there's work you do to pay the bills and there's work you do because you're part of the community. This is work we do because we're part of the community. Right. And I said, you never should feel disappointed or jealous that mom's not there when I'm doing work for the community. And they understand that. That's why they go to the house with me and cook. So it's important for them to be integrated into right. what I'm doing because it's a life. It's not a, d a day job. It's a right. life. Well, I mean, I think if you look at the most successful entrepreneurs, they really are balanced and uh, they're also not willing to settle. And Kathy Bennett, did I get a, a hint of what's next up there? Like it just, like you're not sitting back going, hmm, well, I've made it now. You've got other no, things I, in the hopper. I think there's, I think we all have an opportunity to raise the bar. I think if I look back to when I was, um, you know, first a business person, I mean, it's, it depends on how, how you see success. For me, I see success as, you know, climbing the next mountain. Um, so if there's no mountain to climb, it's difficult to think about being successful. Um, we've done a lot of things in our company in the last 14 years that have been um, challenging and exciting and successful. And I think um, those are things that I want to keep doing. I think it's a good lesson for my kids. I want them to see that you know every time you succeed, you should raise the bar. I right. think we as Atlantic Canadians, yes. every time we succeed, should raise the bar. Right. Well, very good. I am going to salute you. And I'm going to hug her because she's right beside me. And, and I just wish you all the very Thank best you. and more success in the future. Thank you very all much. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. And there you have it. You. I'm hugging a CEO winner. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that. Kathy's handing out hugs to everybody. you got to love that. And that is the lady that we need to talk with next. She looks like a movie star, but really, she's the executive editor of Atlantic Business Magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Chafe. Look how Thank gorgeous you. you are. Thank you very much. And you fit this old Hollywood theme. Thank you. Thank you, you really do. Now, and I've got to be honest, I sort of threw myself at you. Hey, on Twitter, you have Which a I red love. carpet. Can I be there? That's sort of how it Hello, happens. you're like a sister now. It's kind of, you know, that's the kind of friendly person you are. <laughs> well, so. I tell you, this. I'm so glad that we are here tonight because this is a celebration yes. of really uh, what we do, uh, both you and I on a daily basis, exactly, celebrating yes. Atlantic Canada. Absolutely, and, and it certainly deserves, I mean, when you look at the number of people here, the accomplishments they've had, you know, the amount of people they employ, but what really impresses me is their commitment to the community, the involvement with the voluntary sector, the amount of, you know, 20, 20 odd million dollars given to charity yeah. in one year alone by right. this group of people. Really a great cross-section. The top yes. 50 is every industry you can imagine. Absolutely. I mean, you're talking everything from 
uh, you know, franchise and restaurant operations, you're talking, you know, industrial rubber manufacturing, you're talking, uh, you know, retail outlets, you're talking aerospace, aviation, it's just phenomenal yeah. amount of, you know, and then there's film production in there as well. Right. People are so creative across a broad business spectrum, really. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk quickly about Atlantic Business Magazine, yes. because what a success story that is in and of itself, and running that is not, I mean, you're busy all the time. Absolutely, we're flat out, we're a very small team, actually we only have uh, nine full-time staff in our st. John's head office we have two full-time staff in Nova Scotia we are the region's longest publishing regional business publication uh, we're also the largest circulation regional business publication so it's you know pulling this together takes a tremendous amount of effort for a small team but we're so proud to do it because we think it's a real privilege for us to be able to interact with these individuals and just show them the respect that we think they deserve right and I got to tell you your commemorative issue is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so I mean, glad it's you liked so it. so beautiful. Putting it still up there now so everybody can see it. Isn't that spectacular? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, a lot were... of time in the making, that one? Absolutely. It's, well, literally months in the making because the public nominations start in September. They go on till, the, you know, the end of December. Um, and then it's, you know, the whole judging process, but, you know, the production then time alone that you go into the, doing the writing of the profiles, the gathering of the photos. It is a tremendous a amount of work, but so rewarding no in the doubt. end. Yeah. Well, now people I know are home watching this and saying, I know a CEO that would be perfect. Now, mm -hmm. how does that work? Does it start right away or Absolutely. What? They can actually email me tomorrow more tonight if they want to with the nomination for next year's list and they can watch our website in the coming days for when we're going to have our uh, 2014 online nomination form ready to go. We got a party, we have a dessert buffet to go to. Don't Is that wrong? miss it. <laughs> Cheesecake lollipops, do you really need to say anything else? Amen, sister friend. <laughs> Thank you, Dawn. Thank you. If you'd like to watch this show again or see any other episode of CNBCN.com, go to www.bellalliant.net. They're all there on demand. And while we're on the subject, huge congratulations go out to Karen Sheriff. She's president and CEO of Bell Alliant Regional Communications, Inc., and she was also voted one of Atlantic Canada's top 50 CEOs. Woohoo! That's going to do it for this edition of CNBC. And can you imagine it? The top CEOs of Atlantic Canada assembled in one venue and now partying till the wee wee hours. It's been a pleasure to be a part of it. We thank Atlantic Business Magazine and all of the wonderful people we spoke to. Our congratulations again to Kathy Bennett. We'll see you next time on CNBC. Top 50 CEOs assembled and now partying. Dipping marshmallowy things in pop rocks. I'm gonna try it now, just hold on. My mouth is popping. <laughs> what a night. <laughs> I love it. I may never leave. <laughs>